Hi, I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. I empower virtual bookkeeping pros to become confident professionals and business owners. In this video, I will talk about how to clean up opening balance equity in QuickBooks Online. So you're doing a massive cleanup of QuickBooks Online and you come across an account called Opening Balance Equity on the Balance Sheet. What is Opening Balance Equity and how do you clean it up? Let's take a look. Opening Balance Equity is a holding account used by QuickBooks. Balances are added to Opening Balance Equity when opening balances are entered in QuickBooks. For example, connecting bank feeds for the first time you will see an entry made by QuickBooks to enter an opening balance for that account. Opening balances in the chart of accounts, inventory starting quantities, and deleting a balance sheet account with a balance. Here's an example of adding an account to the chart of accounts with an opening balance. QuickBooks prompts the user to enter a balance for that account. And of course, business owners comply because it's right there. So they'll put a balance, but that adds a balance to opening balance equity. Here's another example, adding an inventory item. Then the user is prompted to add an initial quantity on hand and a date. So when they do that, then an amount is added to opening balance equity. And here's another example. When an untrained user goes into the chart of accounts and wants to make an account inactive, but that account has a balance, then even though there's a warning and it says that this account has a non-zero balance and inactivating this account will cause an adjusting transaction to be created, is that okay? And of course, people just click yes, and that also will add an amount to the opening balance equity account. Keep in mind that in a clean set of books, there should be no balance in opening balance equity. Here's an example of what the opening balance equity account tends to look like. Lots of opening balances set up by QuickBooks as well as um, inventory quantity adjustments when inventory was set up. Let's take a closer look. From the balance sheet, we'll select opening balance equity and click to view the detail of this account. And sure enough, we have a lot of activity. Then we have a journal entry. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is a journal entry made by QuickBooks to record the beginning, beginning balance for a fixed asset. So let's take a look and see how this happens. From the chart of accounts, we'll click new to add a new account. We'll choose fixed assets and then select, let's see, buildings. And then see how this prompts you to add an original cost. So let's say that we're going to add uh, 50,000 as of 12.31.20. Save and close. So when you go back to the account detail, we'll refresh. And when you refresh, you can see the journal entry that was entered to opening balance equity. So let's click on that and take a look. So this is the entry that QuickBooks made for me when I entered a beginning balance for an account um, when I added it uh, via the chart of accounts. So it debited buildings, but then it credited opening balance equity. So then of course you have to figure out What's the proper way of recording this because it shouldn't go to opening balance equity. So for most of these transactions, then we need to figure out what is the best way to clean this up. As I said, for inventory quantity adjustments, if you're setting this up uh, in the middle of the year, more than likely these adjustments would need to be moved to cost of goods sold. And for an adjustment such as a note payable, then you would have to find um, whether, okay, is there a deposit for 25000 somewhere in the books? Because obviously if you have a note payable, either you received the money or your client received the, the money or they bought an asset. 
Okay, so then we have to do a, a bit of digging to find out really where should this be recorded because again, it's not opening balance equity. Now let's go through a demonstration of a balance sheet account that still had an account balanced and was deleted and take a look at the adjustment that QBO makes to opening balance equity and how to fix it. In this scenario, the client deletes a balance sheet account, but the account has a balance. Okay, so this happens when a client attempts to delete an account on the balance sheet, and it only works for accounts on the balance sheet. So let's say that they want to delete the loan payable account. So most of the time they'll say, oh, well, that, that, that's wrong. I want to delete it. I'll start over. So they'll go in and, and actually it says make inactive. So they'll click that and then they'll get a warning saying this account has a non-zero balance and basically letting them know that it will cause an adjusting transaction. Of course, they don't know what that means, so they just click yes. QBO makes an adjustment to opening balance equity. So it makes a journal entry and it debits the loan payable account and it credits opening balance equity. And then you can see in the description, it says created by QB online to adjust balance for deletion. So that's a clear sign that, okay, QuickBooks made this entry. So by debiting the loan payable account, it's zeroing out the balance in that account. And because it has to put it somewhere, then it puts it in opening balance equity. When you go to the register for opening balance equity, then you'll see that journal entry, you know, again, that memo and the amount. So how do you fix this? First, go to the chart of accounts, change the settings to view inactive accounts. So from the right hand side, click on the gear icon, make sure that you click on the box to include inactive and click on this to close um, this drop down. So now that you can view that deactivated account or deleted account, then go to the right and click to make it active. And you have to make it active in order to continue and uh, do the fix that I'm going to show you. Once that account has been activated, click to view the register from the chart of accounts. So just for that account, click view register. Once you're in the register for the account, in this case is the loan payable account, go and click to delete the journal entry created by QBO. You will get a couple of warnings telling you that this is part of a split transaction, that you want to delete it, yes, and uh, that the transaction you're deleting has been reconciled, and go ahead and say yes to both. So after you do that, the balance in the account is restored and the journal entry to opening balance equity is deleted. So when you go to the chart of accounts, you should see that account back on the chart of accounts. It's reactivated and it has the balance um, that it had in the account before it was deleted. I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Do you need a QuickBooks online cleanup checklist? Then check the description below for the link to purchase my own colossal cleanup checklist. And look for the links to join my Facebook community and other resources including my Academy for Virtual Bookkeepers. If this content is helping you, then subscribe, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if there are any other topics that you'd like me to cover in the future. I'm here to help. I'll see you next time.